Cars 3 rolled out two new characters and plot details galore. Floor it! It's Screen Junkies News! What's up, Internet? It's uh, it's me, Joe Starr. I'm so excited about Cars. Guys, Entertainment Weekly released three, news, three new Cars 3 clips showcasing Lightning and two new characters uh, with brand new plot details from director Brian Fee. Joining me to talk about them is my fellow Cars super fan and doppelganger, uh, Screen Junkies news producer, Justin Lamb. Justin, thanks for joining me. Floor it. I but, love that add-on. Yeah. Floor it! That, that was a riff. I riffed. <laughs> uh, this, uh, <laughs> that was the best fake laugh I've ever heard. That was a legitimate laugh. I liked it, and I liked these clips that they sent over. These, I, I like the way that they're advertising these characters. I think it's really cool. Let's take a look. Yep, here we go. Headphones on. Engage. Oh. Okay, so this is a sleek uh, new young car, uh, Jackson Storm. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I like that. I feel threatened but curious. <laughs> Alright. We got another one coming up. Here we go. Ooh, this one's spicy? Yeah, this is uh, Cruz Ramirez. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is uh, another character. I wonder if she's Latina. It looks like she's part of the Rusty's team with Lightning McQueen. Yeah, I was gonna say, I like that. Nice. She's fun. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then lastly, of course, bringing up the rear, and last but certainly not least, the OG. There he is. Yeah. It's your dad's car. But, uh, That's why I was listening to cool dad rock. Definitely dad rock. It's me, Lightning McQueen. This is my own Wilson impression, guys. Hey, guys, I'm a car. That's why I'm a movie entertainment pundit, not an impressionist. I like this. Uh, he's, he's dressed up a little bit here. Yeah. He's had some upgrades. Yeah. Also a part of the classic Rusty's team. There he is, the car that started it all, Lightning McQueen. Uh, Sting. <laughs> Sting? I was like, what I missed? Sting. Uh, yeah, uh, the OG car, uh, a.k.a. Uh, the car that my nephew called his best friend for the first three years of his life. Yeah, a lot of contention Aww. there between the two because of that, right? Yeah, oh yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I, the thing I do like about this movie is Cars made such a huge impact on really young kids when it came out, and clearly they've tried to age this movie up to stick with those kids, those kids who went from like, cars are neat, to now they're a little older and they're like, cars are neat. But yeah. I like them for different reasons now. Like, yeah, I mean, I remember growing up, you kind of, you hit that point where cars went from being Hot Wheels to sort of becoming things that you knew the specs of and that you knew details on. And actually speaking of which, I think we've got promo picks too that are uh, kind of more specification style. Yeah, picks. These are of course courtesy of Entertainment Weekly. Uh, this is great. I love this. This great kind of, reminds me of a poster that you might have up on your bedroom wall and like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, no, this this is like the perfect example of a of a of a property growing with its fandom. Because when you were a little kid and you loved Star Wars, you were just like Han Solo's neat. But then as you got older, you wanted those specs on your wall. You wanted to, you know, you wanted to know exactly how the Millennium Falcon worked and how to put together. And I think kids that grew up with cars want that stuff with Lightning McQueen and now Jackson Storm and Cruz Ramirez. Uh, let's talk about the new characters. Um, Jackson Storm's voiced by Army Hammer, who we're both big fans of. Love him. I, I mean, I'm so excited that he's in this. Uh, I mean, he's just, I, I really root for him. I think he's a really fun, engaging actor that I'm excited to hear his voice in this, but also just see him in more stuff it, down the road. So he is, uh, described. Jackson Storm is described as a hotshot millennial, uh, hence Jackson, Jackson Storm. I don't think that that's a, a very millennial name for a car. Yeah, that's um, a kid. I, uh, that's like the name of the kid and the vibe of that video is like, that is a kid that I would be intimidated by in late elementary, early middle school. There's a vibe there that I'm threatened by. And based on the character description, he is definitely a millennial written by an 
an older person. Uh, he's born with a silver spoon in his mouth. <laughs> everything comes easy to him, and everything about him is faster. And uh, he's designed, and he's sleek, and Lightning McQueen looks really old sitting next to him. All oh, these kids in their skinny jeans. I'm excited about this. Get off my lawn. <laughs> Get off my lawn. Uh, then we have Cruz Ramirez, uh, who is voiced by Cristela Alonso. Um, this is a more, uh, she's sort of Lightning's new, uh, I guess, best friend and sidekick. Feels um, almost like it could be sort of mentor slash protege. Yeah, like the young kid who's got to teach an old car dog new car tricks. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. And I like how I think there's potential there behaviorally for her to be kind of uh, the opposite of um, the opposite uh, of Jackson. You yeah. know, it's kind of like, oh, she's the optimistic take on a younger person. It's confirmed, uh, we've heard, that she's training him, definitely. She is definitely training him. So there's right. something there about her I'm, teaching I'm assuming, that, yeah, that's something uh, after that horrific teaser that they put out oh, for yeah. this movie where Lightning McQueen basically dies on a track that she sort of takes him under uh, her wing door. Um, I don't know how to say things. Door, I think terms. just door's fine. She takes him under uh, her door. Yeah. Thank you. Um, uh, my puns are not solid today. Uh, my puns are not four-wheel drive today. Um, so, I think you've got them locked down. So uh, the director has described this movie, you know, it's about McQueen. He's not a young hotshot. Uh, he's sort of in his midlife crisis. He's an aging athlete. That's the story they're trying to tell, which is interesting. Uh, but uh, they're also suggesting that this is not a, um, a wrap-up for Lightning McQueen. Uh, they don't know where the franchise is going, but uh, they're suggesting by the end of the movie, uh, this is only the beginning for Lightning McQueen for yeah. Cars 4 through 8. I think following that sports metaphor, which I love those kinds of stories about an athlete kind of finding maybe, maybe like a second wind or a second uh, a second round in life, I like the idea that if there is a, a, a Cars beyond this, you know, maybe we see him taking on sort of like after winning one more big race, maybe mm -hmm. he then becomes kind of like a mentor to other people in his own right. Yeah, they're going rocky. They're yeah. going rocky with cars. I like that. Justin, thank you so much for hanging out. Of course. Uh, guys, my name is Joe Starr. Thanks for watching Screen Junkies News. You're over here. I'm going to talk to you over here. If you want some more internet, it's in this area here. What do you guys think of Cars 3? What do you want to see in the movie? Uh, let us know in the comments. Bye!